question is, the type of welding used to connect two plates at the lap joint. So, in the lap joint, I will connect two So, I will connect two plates at the lap joint. So, I will connect two plates So, option D is the correct answer. Next, a riveted joint can fail in. Riveted joint can fail in. Fail in. Fail in. Tearing of plate only, shearing of rivet only, bearing of plate or rivet only. So, this is correct. So, this is the same thing. So, any one of the above. Option D. The grass dia of 14 mm nominal diameter rivet is. So nominal diameter is 14 mm kurtrukanga, grass dia kekranga. So grass dia bring both namaka 14 mm kuda in a bowl to hole on the add panam. So 1.5 mm add panna of dina in a 15.5 mm on the karikum. So next to pathing abdina effective length of a fillet weld of length L is. So in a fillet weld total. Length effective length के टर कांगर L minus two s okay वा यस सब लिंग अदर size of the weld next the strength of field rivets as compared to sharp rivets sharp rivets सोड़ा strength पातिंग अभी ना hundred percentage चीरन देते ना field rivets सोड़ा एवलो रखो ना ninety percentage okay वा so ten percentage जोन द negotiation दे रखूँ so इनका strength of field rivets ninety percentage जोन दे रखूँ option B the maximum center to center distance between the rivets in a tension member of thickness ten mm so thickness कुछ तो कहूँगा maximum center to center distance के करांगा so आधे कहाँ tension कहाँ ना formula इन्हें पातीगे ना sixteen t or two hundred mm इधर वंदे ये दे वंदे least आर को अदा वंदे नमक maximum center to center distance आर कपोदे t और t इंग अपडिंग इधर thickness thickness वंदे ten कुछ तो कहूँगा so इनका one sixty आधे मरे two hundred इन दरने तले इधर least इन पातीगे अभी ना one sixty so option B 160 mm of the following does not describe a weld type so this is the weld type we will say zigzag weld is the weld type next beam is designed as a structural member subjected to so this is the subject I will say transverse loading so transverse loading is the subject so option B next to the calculated area of cover plate of a build up beam and allowable rivet holes to be added is area of cover plate when the calculate pannum bodhu rivet holes when the evlo allowance irukkoon pathe yinna 13 percentage when the kudukkoonum ok va so next minimum pitch of the rivet shall not be less than minimum pitch evlo irukkoon pannum 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 2.5 into d d abdi ngayadhu grass die of the rivets next if p and d are pitch and grass die of rivet the efficiency neta of the rivet joint so efficiency evdi kandu pidi pannum 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 strength of rivet joint divided by strength of solid plate so in a rivet joint kandu pidi kundum pannum p minus minus t divided by p okay so if you cancel it you can see the option of p minus t divided by p it's now on the answer for efficiency okay so if you cancel the formula apply we can cancel it so option b next the permissible bending stress in steel so permissible bending stress is 1890 kg per cm square so next question is minimum pitch of rivets should not be less than how many of the grass diameter of rivet so minimum pitch of rivets is 2.5 into d so you can get grass diameter so option b 2.5 times the grass diameter of rivet effective throat thickness and size of weld are connected to as t is equal to ks ok wow effective throat thickness t k is constant அது வந்து எதை டிப்பன் பண்ணி இருக்கும் பாத்திங்க நான் angle between the fusion phases அதை மறி S அப்படிங்கது size of the weld bowls are most suitable to carry axial tension okay வா for a river 36 mm diameter the diameter of hole shall be taken as so எனக்கு 25 mm cross ஆயிடுச்சு அப்படினாலே எனக்கு nominal diameter 2 mm வந்து add பண்ணும் okay வா 36 plus 2 mm 38 mm Okay, wow. What should be multiplied with permissible bearing stress to find out strength of rivet in bearing? So, எனக்கு bearing stress கண்டுபிடிக்கிற்றுக்கு என்ன formula பிடினா P minus D into T into sigma BT இன் போடும் sigma BT எப்படிங்கது permissible stress in bearing So, எனக்கு இங்கு permissible stress in bearing குடுத்துட்டாங்க So, P minus D into T option A Next, pick up the wrongly written assumption taken in the analysis of a riveted joints So, first option பருங்க, friction in plates is negligible So, இது correct Uniform stress distribution in plates is not considered नू कुर्तर कांगर it considered okay वाह uniform stress distribution ना इरुकोन सुली नमक कंस्ट्रक्ट पनीर पों so इधे वंदे तब okay वाह so option B is the correct answer so इधे wrong इन केटर कांगर so option B next rivet joint can fail in so इधे already पाठ तो लिया so tearing of plate shearing of rivet bearing of plate or rivet only so option D allow any any of the above so option D any of the above next बातिंग अभी ना the type of weld used to connect two plates at the lap joint so इधे पता हम पातो लिया fillet weld option D according to Unwin's formula the relation between the diameter of rivet hole D in mm and thickness of plate T in mm is given by so Unwin's formula पातिंग अभी ना six point zero one root T so option B 
d is equal to 6.01 root t. The distance between the two rivets measured perpendicular to the direction applied forces is known as. So, if you look at in the end, the distance is the river, the river is the river, the river is the river, in the side is the river, the gauge is the river. So, the force is the apply. So, force is perpendicular, the gauge is the river. This is parallel, the river is the river. Next, maximum size of the fillet weld for a plate of square edge. So, square edge ला, एनक्क maximum size of fillet weld एपड़ी इरुकुना, 1.5 mm less than the thickness of the plate. So, option A. Next, the minimum edge and edge distance from the center of any hole to the nearest flame cut edge shall not be less than. So, minimum edge and distance एवलो रुकुन पाथिंग एना, 1.5 times the hole dia. So, एवलो रुकुन पाथिंग एना, 1.5 times the hole dia in case of flame cut edge. So, option A is the correct answer. Next, the the throat in fillet weld is so throat अपनी सोल्टे ये तो सुल्मा अपनी ना perpendicular distance from the root of the hypotenuse so option D next the size of rivet ये तो base पनीर को अपनी ना diameter of shank so इधर bolt अपनी ना इंगे इंगे रखें ये threaded portion ना वंदे ये ना कुंदे shank अपनी सुल्मा so इधर base पनीर ता ये वालो size इन सोली ना हमने determine determine पड़ा मरियो the maximum permissible stress for power driven fillet fillet rivet in bearing on rivet. So in a power driven fillet in bearing other maximum permissible stress level or company now 270 newton per mm squared in case of power driven in even the hand driven could do nanga bina 300 newton per mm squared hand driven okay wow next the maximum permissible stress for hand driven rivet in axial tension so axial tension la hand driven kate rukkanga so yavlo urukkun paathinge abdi na 80 newton per mm square the size of fillet weld is indicated by size of fillet weld abdi inge bodhu throat oda thickness avicci dha nama size of fillet weld determine pannu mom next the diameter of bolt hole is made larger than the diameter of the rivet so diameter of bolt hole vandhu 2 mm varikum larger arukkum ok va next partial safety factor for steel stresses 1.15 when a load is exerted or transferred from one surface to another in contact, the stresses is known as bearing stresses. Okay, well. The actual thickness of a butt weld when compared with the thickness of the plate is. So, actual thickness of butt weld as compared to, so plate to the thickness of compared to the butt weld to the thickness just the arc. Okay, well. more. The fillet weld whose axis is parallel to the direction of the applied load. So, fillet weld la, direction of applied load ko the parallel arc again in pathing abhi na side fillet weld option a next tacking rivets and compression plate exposed to weather have a pitch not exceeding 200 mm so in the compression plates kutthi rukkanga adhe maari exposed to weather nu kutthi rukkanga so in the end of pathing abhi na 16 times the thickness of the outside of the plate tacking rivets and compression plates when exposed to weather nu kutthi rukkanga na 16 times the thickness of the outside plate or 200 mm next question paharunga the fillet weld is not recommended if the angle between the fusion faces is so எனக்கு fillet weld அப்படியும் போது 60 degreeல் அந்த 120 degree வரிக்கும் எனக்கு recommend பண்ணுமும் okay வா it is applicable so இதுக்கு கம்மியாவும் இருக்குக்குடாது இது விடு கிரேட்டதாவும் இருக்குக்குடாது so இதுக்கு என்ன வரும் பார்த்தீங்க அப்படினா less than 60 degree greater than 120 degree so option b and c option c is the correct answer next b is the width of the plate d is the diameter of the river then the efficiency of a riveted joint having diamond riveting is given by so enak vandu riveted joint oda efficiency ketirukanga already paatha dhaan adu so n is equal to b minus d divided by b option a give up b minus d divided by b option a Next, bolts are suitable to carry axial tension, option C. Next, for a standard 45 degree fillet weld, the ratio of the size of fillet to throat thickness. So, it is T is equal to KS. So, in the ratio of the size of the fillet weld to its throat thickness. Now, there is a throat thickness. So, in the T அப்படிங்கள்து இது வந்து throat thickness இது வந்து size okay வா இது வந்து 45 degree angle குடுத்திருக்காங்க so இதில்து நாம் என்ன எடுத்துக்கலான் பாத்திங்கினாம் yes cos 45 is equal to T நிடுத்துக்கலாம் so cos 45 பாத்திங்க எப்படினா 1 by root 2 so yes divided by root 2 is equal to 1 so எனக்கு s by t தான் கேட்கிறாங்க so s by t is equal to root 2 divided by 1 equal to root 2 is to 1 okay வா so root 2 is to 1 ratio so s by t 
root 2 is to 1 option C. Next, center to center distance of the adjacent rivet or bolt holes measured in the direction of stress. So, now we can see the center to center distance of in the bolt or rivet. Irukku. So, in the direction of stress, the pitch in the solvum. Okay, that is the pitch in the solvum. Option B. Line of riveted joint assume. In the assumption, na, the riveted hole is to be filled by the rivet. So, option B is the correct answer. Next, the rivets which are heated and then driven in the field is known as. So, this is the power driven field rivets. In okay, wow. Next, the gross dia of a rivet is the diameter of gross dia being about the rivet after driving. Option B. So, drive panna the kapra ma in diameter rako and the grass dayan solo. King shears test on the grass area of the river as recommended by the Indian standard is B. Standard is 1025 kg per centimeter square option B. The transverse fillet welder are designed for. So, transverse fillet welder the edikahanama design pandrom dina shear strength on the carry pandrathaka. Next. Which of the following assumptions are made in the design of rivet well, rivet joints? Rivet or stressed equally. So, the correct is stress in plate is maximum at midwidth. Rivet hole is completely filled by rivet. So, option C is correct. Friction between plates is neglected. So, this is correct. So, A, C, D. Now, option D. Strength of fillet will be about 80 to 95% of the main member. Okay, Strength of fillet will be about 80 to 95% of the main member. Which one of the following is the mode of failure in fillet weld material? Fillet weld material is the failure mode. Na? Shear. Shear is failure. Agum. So, when the effect of wind or earthquake load is taken into account, the permissible stress as specified in reverse may be increased by 25%. Okay, wow. Option D. This is 50 questions. On the over. If you want to share this PDF, please share it with the Telegram group. If you want to use it, please comment on this video. If you want to use this video, please subscribe. Thank you.